Hey, hey, what's up everyone? Happy Dude here and thank you for joining me. So this is a test that I wanted to do for a very long time. I know in the past I already did a comparison between green gas, red gas, black gas and CO2, but they were two different guns. But this time I've got the STI Combat Master from ESG and I found a magazine uh, that can hold green gas, red gas, and black gas. Uh, this gun uh, comes standard with a CO2 a magazine, um, but then you can fire all these other gases. Now, I could not find um, a magazine from the same brand as the gun, so I had to resort to a different brand, and that is AMG. Here is the QR code if you want to scan it. So this is the magazine and I'm not really sure if it's going to fit. So let's try it out. Even in the store, uh, they weren't sure and I didn't bring uh, my gun. So let's try it out. Okay. That's a good sign. Okay. Let's see if it works. And it does. Yes. So we can begin with the test. First, let's see if there's any difference in weight. So the green gas magazine weighs 341 gram or exactly 12 ounce. And the CO2 magazine, oh, a little bit heavier. And the CO2 capsule isn't even in it. If we count that, it's 14 ounce or almost 400 gram. Okay, let's start with the CO2 magazine and test the FPS. And there's also another problem um, with the CO2 capsules. You see, there's no uh, lubrication in there. So the gun inside gets very, very dry. Now you can use CO2 capsules with um, oil in it, but with this gun, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, I had a few jams with it. I'm going to try and replicate that so I can show you. Uh, oh, right. I am going to use uh, 0 0.25 gram 6 millimeter plastic BBs for all the tests uh, because it's the most common. All right, let's start the FPS test with the CO2. Okay, FPS test with a fresh CO2 can. It's weird that this gun has such a low FPS while it's kicking so hard. Honestly, this is one of my hardest uh, kicking airsoft gun. Okay, the gun is empty. Now let's see if it jams if we fire very fast. You just got jammed. Yeah, you see, uh, sometimes this happens. This little black uh, piece here, sometimes it gets stuck and then you have to take the magazine out, uh, push it a little bit back and then, and then the gun unjams. And when you're done, never forget to take out the CO2 because otherwise it could damage your seal. Oh, right. Uh, this is another problem. This CO2 magazine uh, never wants to let go of the CO2 capsule. 
so you have to tap it with a hammer and it's um, it's pretty sketchy because then the CO2 can will, will fly out Jesus f <laughs> all right time to test out the green gas and that's way easier because you never have to worry about CO2 cans um, and also there's no waste because there's always green gas in the magazine so you always just fill it up and oh also never store your green gas magazine empty that's very important otherwise the seals will dry out so it's exactly the opposite of a CO2 magazine okay let's fill it up oh 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 that's not good what is happening here um, mm, 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 mm. oh 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 i can see i think this little hole here is not big enough what what a stupid design is that okay it looks like i'm going to need to disassemble this um okay time to play doctor um we are going to need this little hammer and a little pin okay let's see if we can get that pin out this way oh yes huh it's very easy when you have the right tools for the job and now we are going to drill this hole a little bit bigger let's see how wide this nozzle is and it's a little bit under four millimeters okay let's drill it out okay let's see if it fits and it does okay let's put this back onto the magazine uh, the small tip goes in first I think no it's the other way around okay let's see if it works now shake before use that's what he said T oh yeah it works okay now i'm very curious to see what this green gas can do fps test green gas huh that's weird the fps is almost the same but the kick is a lot less Oh well, time to let all the green gas out. Oh. And now it's time to test out the red gas. Normally uh, this is for in the winter time, but if you use it in the summer, you get a very nice FPS bump. You know what? After shooting the green gas, the upper slide looks a lot more smoother than it used to be. You guys can't see it or feel it, but I can. So that's already an advantage. Okay, time to test out the red gas. FPS test, red gas.
Okay, the FPS seemed a bit more consistent with the red gas. So let's shoot the magazine empty now. Wow, you can shoot a lot more with the red gas. Also the kick is a, a little bit harder and the gun is also louder. Okay, let's step it up a notch with the black gas. Of course, every now and then you want to knock it up a notch with a blast from your spice weasel. Bam! Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, you have to put it in straight. That's what she said. <laughs> Alrighty then, time for the final test. Alrighty then. FPS test, black gas. All right, time for the magazine dump. Oh wow, it's still going. Okay, so with the black gas, um, the FPS and the kick is about the same as with the CO2 gas. Um, so I think green gas, red gas or black gas will be a lot better for this gun. Um, because you don't have any waste and the gun is way better lubricated. So you don't really have to do any maintenance on it.